I gotta tell you, it's pretty nice to come out here and just pick a peach and eat it. What's up, duck? We just got a new dehydrator and not a moment too soon because this thing is just falling apart. I've pretty much killed this one and we have about a million peaches to process. This is the Cabela's Deluxe 10 tray dehydrator and it's quite the upgrade from this guy right here. But this is the guy I want to talk about for a minute. We've been using this dehydrator for years and it's worked very well for us. But it was definitely time for an upgrade because this thing is just falling apart. The point that I'm trying to make is that you can absolutely dehydrate with a cheap dehydrator. If dehydrating food is something that you've been considering doing but you haven't decided on a dehydrator or you don't want to spend a hundred dollars or hundreds of dollars on a dehydrator, get a cheap one. We bought this one at Walmart years ago for $40 and it's done the trick. It does what it's supposed to. There's no sense in spending a ton of money on a dehydrator if it's something that you're not even going to like doing. You might try it and realize that you don't want to do it. Start cheap, experiment, and build from there. So I'm going to get this thing cleaned up and start dehydrating some peaches. This is the second year that our peach trees have produced fruit and they did very well this year. We've been eating fresh peaches off the tree, we've made peach cobbler, we've had peaches and vanilla ice cream, there's just peaches everywhere. So as well as canning them, we dehydrate them as well. So here's how we do it. Once the peaches are picked, I put them in boiling water for about 30 seconds. This allows the skin of the peach to slip, making it very easy to peel, much like a tomato. I like to do this five or so peaches at a time. Repeat and repeat until the peaches are all peeled. This helps prevent the peaches from overcooking. You don't want to cook the peaches, you just want the skin to slip. All the while setting the most desirable fruit aside for fresh consumption. I use the lemon juice to keep the fruit from turning color to add additional flavor and it's also an antimicrobial treatment. I carefully cut and split the fruit, separate the pit from the fruit, put the fruit in the lemon juice and repeat. Once that's complete, it's time to slice the peaches. I like to slice them approximately one quarter inch and put them in the lemon juice. From here, I'll strain the peaches and spread them out on a pan. I like to put cinnamon on my peaches. Cinnamon is a healthy way to add additional flavor. I don't have any silicone drying sheets for this dehydrator yet, so I'm using the ones from the old dehydrator. I suspect the air circulation in the corners and in the middle is a good thing. Place the peaches on the tray, making sure that there's space between them. You don't want them stacked or touching. Being that it's a new dehydrator, I'm experimenting and trying a few things. I'm putting peaches directly on the trays as well to see which method produces the better results. <laughs> Slips and undesirable fruit go to the pigs for bacon conversion. Nothing here goes to waste. After about three hours, it was very clear to me that I did not need to use the extra silicone sheets, so I transferred everything over. After a total of nine and a half hours, the peaches were dried and ready for the mason jar. I let the dried fruit completely cool before I put it in the jars. Then I store it in the basement, where it can keep for months. I didn't take any weight measurements on that batch of peaches. I should have, and I just spaced it and completely forgot. So what I did was I took 5 pounds of peaches and I dehydrated them, and I ended up with 5.7 ounces of dehydrated peaches. That's an incredible weight reduction. 5.7 ounces of dehydrated peaches will fit perfectly in a quart mason jar. So before I dehydrated these, this was roughly 5 pounds of peaches. It's crazy. These things are so good. I like to eat them just like this. It's like eating candy. I'm looking forward to putting these in my oatmeal on my trips this coming winter. Mmm. So good. I used six of the ten dehydrating trays to dehydrate that five pounds of peaches. And that was spread out pretty sparingly, so I know that I could have put that five pounds on five trays. So I could have dehydrated ten pounds of peaches all at once. This is a new dehydrator and lessons learned. It's Good, good information to know. In the beginning of this video, I said it was a good idea to start cheap and build up from there. However, it's obvious to me in one use that this dehydrator is better than the old one in every way, shape, and form. Everything about it is better. And it should be, because it costs three times more. Well, there's two frames of mind here. You know, start cheap and work your way up, because you might not like it. But you might not like it because that dehydrator 
sucks compared to a better one. <laughs> All the conveniences of a more expensive dehydrator make for a much more controllable, efficient, convenient, enjoyable dehydrating experience. For us, the upgrade was absolutely worth the money because we dehydrate a lot of food. That said, we've dehydrated a lot of food with that old dehydrator. It works. It did its job. It served us well. It did not deter us from wanting to continue dehydrating food. If you absolutely know that you need a dehydrator in your life, you have to have one. I would suggest saving up some money and getting a good one. Spend at least $100. The one we bought was $120. It's not super expensive, but it's more than $40, and there's a difference there. But if you're unsure, it's something that you're thinking about, but you're not quite sure, just get a cheap one. Either way, you'll be dehydrating. If dehydrating food is something that interests you and you enjoyed today's video, I've created a playlist of other dehydrated meals, and I'll put that right here for you. If you enjoyed today's video and you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so right here. And winter's coming, and that makes me all warm and fuzzy inside, so check this out just for fun. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your support. My name is Justin, and I'll talk to you next time.